What's up YouTube? <laughs> Welcome to another unboxing. Uh, I'm going to be showing you what I had to buy to get this. <laughs> Super cheesy. Let's see. So I did not buy this. I already had this. But I had to buy this helmet. The lights actually worked on this one. Is it off? I don't know, whatever. So get this he helmet off. It's kind of difficult. There we go, got it. My head's kind of big. So think hard about that when you want to go and purchase this. Oh, the lights are off. And the lights are on. And the lights are off, they work. The first helmet I bought uh, back when this came out, uh, the the helmet didn't turn on. <clears throat> now uh, all the uh, helmets that they sell now they come with a little sheet that shows how to fix that problem. If you get uh, one that doesn't uh, work, you just take a little skinny screwdriver behind the metal and bend it forward. It shows a little picture if you do buy it. But the blaster I bought was the Proto Man one. So I got Proto Man. And let's go ahead and open it. If I last believe, the Mega Man Buster does not come with batteries. So this one should not either. But you never know. And I don't see any batteries. But I see another stand. The stand is just like the uh, Mega Man Buster stand. It's like a plastic. It's got two little rubber grips for this. Let's see, it takes three AA batteries, which I do not have extra of at the moment. But I'm sure it does the same thing as the Mega Buster. Lights up, bling, and then front red lights up um, and then here's the stand it came with it's just clear it's got two little rubber feet and it says Mega Man right there kind of hard to see <laughs> all right let's get to some of the other items that I purchased for that NES Classic Mini Edition. I got this Mega Man mug because I was looking for a mug and, you know, <laughs> Mega Man's cool. But, like I said, I didn't have a choice. It was part of the bundle. Think Geek. Owned by GameStop, you tricksters. Whatever. It's all good. I want all these items anyways. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. It's all red inside. <laughs> I had to buy all those items just to get this, the NES Classic Edition. Awesome. I'm not I'm not going to unbox this one. This one is for somebody else. Uh I have one personally uh, I got it thanks to my loving wife she went to Target while I went to work <laughs> she got it for me no extra controller though why aren't there extra controllers why why is that that makes no sense you put all these consoles and you don't make any second player controllers I swear they made like one per state they're so expensive they're like I think like a hundred bucks or more might be like 50 60 bucks 70 bucks but last I checked I seen some going for like 120 or something like that that's crazy all for that stupid NES classic mini edition <laughs> it's not stupid I love it it's awesome I still haven't uh, hacked mine modded mine soft mod whatever you want to call it put all the uh, NES library soup 
Super Nintendo library. You can play Super Nintendo and Genesis on the NES Mini Classic. That's so cool. And update on my Super Nintendo Classic Mini Edition. Ugh. Walmart canceled it. <laughs> Along with everybody else. Ugh. It was like Nintendo called Walmart and was like, whoa, hold up. Scalpers weren't ready. Let's do a redo. And now we have to kind of guess when that's going to happen. Somebody let me know. I had a pre-order, now I don't. Oh, oh. Going to have to s sit outside the store. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, but that's, that's everything. All for that NES Classic Edition. Uh, it's whatever. Mystery bundles. Uh, you know, if you guys like the video, hook it up with the uh, like. Share with your friends. Uh, I'm on all the social medias. Instagram is where I show most of the stuff that I get. I honestly haven't Instagrammed this stuff yet. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys uh, like what you saw and you want to see some more videos, hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.